In this video, I will present Maestro News's Playout Layout, demonstrate how to create a rundown, and show a few examples of Playout logic. The Maestro News Playout Layout has many intuitive and user-friendly functionalities that increase efficiency substantially. The Playout Layout is separated into five major parts. The first part is the browser. All Maestro News pages are stored in the Maestro News database. From the browser, the user can access the templates library. Maestro News supports user rights management, so access to the graphic pages can be limited to specific users. The next part is Local Preview, where a user can see the coming up next graphics, giving them confidence that they will be using the correct graphics during production. The left side of the interface contains the rundown area. Each rundown contains instances of the templates known as items. It is possible to use one template multiple times. We can also create multiple rundowns. Some can be created in the newsrooms to be played from Maestro News later on, and others can be created directly using Maestro News interface. Each rundown item is assigned to the output channel with one Maestro News interface controlling up to 26 different channels. In one channel, it is possible to play up to 256 virtual layers, allowing separate control for each graphic element. To create a new rundown, we click here and drag the selected template directly to the rundown. Let's select Lower Third Template, for example. The Lower Third Template will open in the browser. From there, we can modify it, select the images that will be presented, define the number of lines that will appear, change the color and position, and of course, the content itself. The changes will be automatically saved in Rundown. To play the item, we use the Control Panel. The Control Panel offers Preview, Queue, Play, Out commands that can be used for each graphic item. Shortcuts can be assigned to the buttons as well. In the top part of the interface, there is a local preview, which simulates the program out. Now, let's select the modify template and play it to air. Here are a few examples of what can be done. From the rundown, we can select additional graphic items, including a bar chart. When we play it, it automatically plays out from the previous template ensuring that the graphics will not overlap. From the same page, we can decide how many bars will be presented. Here, for example, we can select 2. If we play the item again, it will automatically run with the changed animation, using the selected number of bars. The same template can be changed from a bar chart to a line chart, with the changes reflected in output. These are just a few examples. Of course, the logic can be more sophisticated and you can create anything that meets your requirements. The last part of Playout is the Macros panel. Each macro button triggers sets of commands greatly accelerating the operator's workflow. For example, the first macro can clear all the graphics with a single click. In this video, we demonstrated the different elements of the Playout layout. For more information about Maestro News, please go to www.avid.com.